Slivery, slippery and squishy are just three words used to describe our native eels. But did you know that the longfin eel is a threatened species to New Zealand? We travel to Lake Naroto with Mike Holmes, a commercial eel fisherman, to examine some eels and learn more about these amazing creatures. The longfin eel is one of New Zealand's two main kinds of eels, the other being the shortfin. This will be a female. Fin on a, on a longfin, that's a shortfin, see the fins are the same length almost? Yep. Okay. That's a shortfin, and yeah, here's a longfin. The top fin is longer. See, the top fin comes well forward of the, yeah. the bottom fin. Yeah. The oldest age the long fin can reach is 50 to 80 years old. The females grow much larger than the males, sometimes up to 2 metres long. That makes them one of the biggest eel species in the world. The long fin eel can be found in both the North and South Islands of New Zealand and are mostly found near inland waters such as rivers, streams and lakes. What is really amazing is that eels only breed once in their life. Scientists believe that eels travel over 2,000 kilometres all the way to Tonga to breed at the end of their life. And the amazing part is that they do it without eating any food on their journey. They die soon after producing their eggs. Luckily, we know some of the threats to the survival of the long fin eel. Blocked waterways and dams are a threat to the eel because it stops them from going up streams because they are unable to get more food sources or migrate. People are now putting in things called slipways to help the eels get upstream to find more and better food resources. But according to Mike, the best way to help eels on their journey is to catch them and move them further up or downstream. When it comes to getting uh, eels past power stations, we favour a lift and shift system rather than ladders. Now, a lot of people like to, like to pursue the, you know, we want to see eels get past on their own. Well, the technical problems of getting past a huge dam are huge, and the cost of putting in a fish ladder is huge. And if it doesn't work, then you've got all that cost and it doesn't work, that's really bad. So we like catching them and shifting them. That's what our company advocates, and that's what we do on the... Um, Waikato Hydro Lakes. Very good recruitment monitoring there um, of, of little eels and that's really a big advantage. So we know if spawning's happening because we're getting eels back. And the data that we've been collecting over the last 15 odd years is that eel populations are good in the sense that they're spawning and, and um, coming back to New Zealand. And that, we wouldn't have known that otherwise. Another issue is that chemical spraying and fertiliser runoff near waterways has affected water quality. At Lake Naroto, the willows and plants around the edges have been killed by spraying. Eels benefit directly from willows for, for a number of reasons. Is that a willow actually, a crack willow grows with most of its root system in the water and that root system provides cover for the eels. Now, particularly with long fin eels, Long fins are absolutely dependent on cover in the water. If there's no cover, there's no long fin, and that's an absolute relationship. Now that cover can be made up of, of, of logs or, or boulders or whatever, but in most of our lowland rivers, which is soft mud, there are no logs and there's no um, rocks, so there's no cover. So the only way you can have cover is to have willows, and they provide that root mass. Now the root mass does a lot of good things apart from hiding the eels, it also pulls nutrients directly out of the water, so it helps clean up the water. The willow itself is deciduous, so it drops leaves off in the winter, so you get sunlight into the water in the winter when you want it, and shade in the summer when you don't need it. And it also feeds in a lot of insects and, and leaf litter into the water. All good things for the water, and all good things for eels. One of the longfin eel's main threats is overfishing by commercial fishers. But Mike Holmes is careful about what sizes of eels he catches. Anything under 225 grams and anything over 4 kgs is thrown back. The big ones are thrown back because they could be close to breeding. The longfin eel is a threatened species of eel, but we have learned that there are people out there like Mike Holmes who are trying to improve the eel population.